Our next stops on the walking tour are the Civil War Memorials near the Somerset County Courthouse. The first monument is a statue of a Civil War soldier at Parade Rest. Dedicated on September 17, 1888, the statue is made of white bronze and was cast by the White Bronze Monument Company of Bridgeport, Connecticut. It was erected through the efforts of the citizens and surviving Civil War soldiers from Somerset County. On the four sides of the sub-base and three sides of the shaft are the names of 184 soldiers killed in battle. 17 soldiers missing in action, and 186 soldiers who died of disease while serving the Union during the Civil War. Prior to the dedication of the statue, the Somerset community held a 10-day celebration, culminating in a parade and the dedication of the statue, which was attended by 5,000 spectators. The second Civil War monument was dedicated on July 26, 2003. Designed by Somerset County historian Richard Sturtz and created by Bedford sculptor Wayne Hyde, the monument depicts a scene of the 142nd Pennsylvania Volunteer Infantry defending their native soil at the Battle of Gettysburg on July 1, 1863. Three of the regiment's ten companies and its commanding officer, Colonel Robert Parsons Cummins, were from Somerset County. The monument scene depicts Cummins, who was beloved by his men, leading them at the Battle of Gettysburg. He is straddling his fallen horse that just moments earlier had been shot out from under him. Cummins has his sword drawn in an effort to rally his men for a counterattack against Confederate forces on McPherson's Ridge. Shortly after this moment, Cummins was mortally wounded by a bullet fired by the 47th North Carolinians. His devoted man used a blanket to carry him off the battlefield. He is now buried in the Union Cemetery, a short distance from this monument in Somerset. Out of the 336 men in the 142nd PVI that began fighting at Gettysburg, less than half would see its end. After taking terrible losses at Gettysburg and other battles, the 142nd became part of the Union's Fifth Corps in 1864. They fought through the Virginia campaigns and were at Appomattox Courthouse for the formal surrender of the Confederate Army by General Robert E. Lee. The location of this monument has a special meaning. Robert Cummins was elected sheriff of Somerset County during the war. Because of this, the monument that shows his last brave moments was erected near what was his home, the Somerset County Sheriff's House.